Delhiites are facing unbearable heat in the national capital. While uh, there are, in fact, reports that are coming in that five people have died due to heat wave. I am joined by the med medical superintendent of RML Hospital, Dr. Ajesh Kula, sir. Thank you for speaking with us. Yes. Sir, the reports are coming around five people have died due to heat wave. What are the more details that you can tell us? Well, uh, in the past uh, two days, uh, we've had approximately five suspected heat wave uh, deaths. So yeah. why, why do you call them suspected? Are there other reasons? Well, uh, they're called suspected because uh, we've been told that there's a committee which will decide whether they're actually heat stroke deaths or not. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to share the data with the committee and then they would examine each case. Uh, with what symptoms and you know what condition are people coming in and uh, you know in general for heat wave how many patients are coming in on a daily basis so in the last uh, two days a lot of patients came we had 22 patients coming in out of which uh, five died and uh, there are approximately 12 or 13 patients who are on a ventilator so they're critical and the symptoms you know in the beginning they're very confusing uh, they're not very specific. People can have a high pulse rate. They can have uh, rapid breathing, a shallow breathing. They can have nausea, pain in the abdomen, things like that. So uh, most people, you know, they only rush to the hospital when they faint or become unconscious. Yeah. So what is your message to the people who cannot avoid going out and they will have to be out in the sun? So what is your message? How can, what are the trips and preventions? You see, it's not uh, only when you go out that you get a heat stroke. A lot of patients get heat stroke despite the fact that they don't go out. Because a lot of patients, you know, they work in conditions which are not very good. Uh, people might be working in small shacks with tin rooftops. In fact, the heat inside those areas which are not ventilated properly, not, do not have cooling and uh, might be so much that it might actually be, the temperature might be much more than it is outside. Mm. And then uh, apart from that, if you're doing a physical activity, if you're not drinking water adequately, then you're very much prone to develop a heat stroke. One final question, sir. There is also water shortage that is being talked about. There are three hospitals that has been mentioned. One is Lady Harding, RML and Kalavati Hospital. Is there actually a water shortage issue uh, in the premises of this hospital? Well, we don't have any water shortage as of now.